So yeah. talking about music, man. Um, um, I was on Complex. They always come out with these lists, man. And and we ain't gonna go back that far, but but it said the best hip hop producers alive every year since 1979. But we could start from the 2000s. Are there some names that are missing? Um, but it said in the year 2000, um, it's Earth Tone Three. Um, and they are known for uh, their main thing was was a lot of outcast stuff. Miss Jackson, Bob, and most of okay. okay. Um, Kanye West in and uh, oh one. All mm. right, Kanye yeah, West at 01. Uh, honorable mentions was the Neptunes and Just Blaze and LP. 02 was the what Just Blaze? How you leave Just Blaze out? Though? I know. Well, they have them as an honorable mention. They and they they are their argument was that um it, they not trying to leave people out, but like maybe certain people like outperform them or like the production, like it, the output. Oh, you know what? I, I understand because Just Blaze, like he had a extremely like high. He had a peak. And yeah. then he kind of, you know, he hasn't been as consistent. So, all right, I can understand. I can understand that. All right. O two 2 was the Neptunes. O three 3 was Lil Jon. Uh, o four 4 Kanye West. Again, that's that's hard. <laughs> college dropout. <laughs> yeah. and they, that's what they put as the credentials, college dropout. Yeah. Kanye is definitely a, a big influence, major influence in this culture, man. Damn, 05, Kanye West. Uh, Toomp, T-O-O-M-P, Toomp, and 06. Oh, DJ Toomp. DJ okay. Toomp, yeah. They put a that's lot like of... like that ATL run. That's like the beginning of that Atlanta run. Okay, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it says T-I and uh, Jeezy. So, yep, yep. Those mm -hmm. are his credentials. Kanye yeah. West at 07. Damn, is Kanye that West the greatest game. producer ever? Like. Like, is that <laughs> I, I can't I can't say ever, man, because you know that's that's definitely a, a debate that involves your opinion. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean yeah. a lot. But I mean technically, if we go with just technicalities, yeah, you know, he's he's in the contenders, man. He he's definitely up there when it comes to MC and producing just the total package, man. Like executing a vision in the studio is a difficult task, especially when you're doing it from scratch, man. And uh, yeah, 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 he's definitely one of those top guys just to like I said, execute a vision from just the thought all the way to even just a music video and yeah, you know what I mean, the rollout. He's definitely up there. He's one of those top guys, man. Like like Dre, you know, uh, just the influence that he has on the game and his sound. Yeah, it's just hard when you think about all the competition that's in that lane. Yeah, because yep. um, when you a rapper and a producer at the same time, you know, you wear multiple hats. Okay, so it's like um, you know uh. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, he's up there, man. Kanye's yeah. up there like a yeah. motherfucker, man. Like, I can't lie, man. All right. Yeah, I don't want to say the best ever, man. I know, right? We but still got time. Yeah, he's showing up on this list mad times. All right. Uh, 08, Drummer Boy. 09 was no, uh, 40. Uh, 2010, Lex Luger. Um, let's see. He, his oh. credentials, BMF. A lot of Rick Ross mm -hmm. shit. Yeah, a lot of Rick Ross yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine piece MC Hammer. Um, let's see. Uh 11 40 again. Yeah. That's, that's 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 when that that's when that emotional era came about, man. Yeah, like, yeah. I remember uh Drake entering the game, man. And uh I remember I, I was did uh, you believe in him? Like I didn't believe in I didn't, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't I didn't know it was gonna I, last. Honestly, man, um, you know, uh I, I enjoyed the music before I got into the actual the person, the character, I heard the music, man, and okay. I enjoyed it. And um, I think, you know, a lot of people did too around that time. You know, I think it was like nearing the end of like the LimeWire era and oh, stuff like shit. that. You know oh, what I mean? Shit. And, uh, you know, people were still running around with CDs, getting CDs burnt and stuff. And yeah, um, Drake was the new sound, man. I remember it. It was just like that new thing. And, you know, we was never used to, especially like a rapper, somebody with bars, coming through with like emotional content that, yeah. you know, women could really attach themselves to. Yeah. And, um, you know, I remember that sound, that's that texture of music, just, you like know, the, the singing. singing all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I remember it being really relevant. And as far as me, I had no idea. Uh, I didn't expect Drake to be where he is today. I had no idea because the style of music and what everybody was kind of entertaining and looking for, it was completely different. 
Okay. Then, yeah. Then yeah. Now the certified lover boy, the person we know and love now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, before then we had a lot of like, you know, street guys, it was, you know, ATL influence, but, um, yeah. you know, at that point I could say, I really enjoyed the music, but I couldn't have predicted him like being all the way at the top. Like, yeah. Right. Like I, for I real. I, I knew guys locally who was doing that type of stuff for real, for real. Yeah, yeah. Like who? Like who? Like 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 Drake? Like back in twenty eleven? Um, like you know, like yeah. I knew dudes who had like uh you know the singing, rapping that's that mixed that style. Okay. You know, uh, you know me, Rob running around in the streets and shit. So I crossed paths with a lot of guys and uh okay. You know uh it was a lot of dudes who you know who did time in prison. Okay. Stuff like okay. That, you know what I mean? Where it took the time to hone their craft and, you know, they would come home with a lot of melodies, you know, banging on the chest and okay. raps and stuff. And, uh, um, yeah, you know, just emotional content. But uh, Drake was the first one to, like, execute it and really deliver it. You deliver know it, I mean? yeah. yeah. I remember I definitely met a lot of, a lot of guys who... Okay, okay, bet. Um, uh, 2012 was uh, Mike Will made it, and Mike Kanye West 2013, and pretty much they put Yeezus, which I right, now nah, I think this came yeah, back again, man. Yeah, that's crazy. I, I, I didn't really, I wasn't a fan of Yeezus Yeezus. though. I wasn't a fan of that. Um, I mean, you know, he had a, he had a few decent songs on there, but uh, it wasn't one of his standout projects. Though. Yeah. Uh, 2014, Mike Will made it again. Um, 2015. Now we're gonna get into some names that are like you. you now we're hearing these guys a lot too. Um, Metro Boomin in 2015. Um, Metro Boomin in 2016. Mm. Damn, that's like that future. That yep. Future. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, No ID in 2017, and they put 444 as the as the credentials, like. Well, I don't know if that's really fair. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the honorable mentions was uh, me- in that year: Metro Boomin, Murder Beats, and uh, Pierre Bourne. Um, twenty sixteen, Take Keith. Damn. Twenty nineteen is Madlib. Okay, okay. okay. Um, twenty twenty, Hit Boy. Yeah. And, and then twenty twenty one. The Alchemist, and that's that's mm. ironic because now, yeah, you, you we see the the music. I don't say it's shifting, but like, yeah, we are starting to get that grittiness a bit, back a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean, with it's, certain I mean, artists, it's needed, man. I mean, you know, uh, it's it, everything. Everything you know comes back around. Okay, you know, the the youth is what rejuvenates the things that we see today. Yeah, but you know, um, it's nothing new under the sun. Yeah, yeah I man. You know, we're familiar with all of these different things. You know, the different styles and shifts and sounds. I mean, what I will say though is, um, I really do like today's production. Okay, when I listen back. You know, what I mean, like if we go back like ten years, like a lot of stuff sounded real cheesy. It sounded ah. like real crazy. Like some of your favorite songs aren't as timeless as you want to believe. You know, what yeah, I mean, true, like, true, so, true. Um, is yeah, it because I, like they weren't mixed and mastered right, or is that is that part of it, or is just nah that that sound no, is I outdated? Think, uh, yeah, I think just the sounds outdated, and um, I think that you know uh, as far as the mix and mastering part, it's a you know the platforms change. You know? Okay, okay. I mean the way we listen to music has changed, so the, naturally you know the way you would hear it or perceive it would would change along with it. But um, you know I just think now. You know, of course, sounds sound a little more polished. Okay. I think, uh, you know, uh, back then, stuff as far as, like, samples that were really good, they, they came across as extremely authentic, and you could feel it more. But I like the clarity uh, okay. uh, of nowadays, you know. Um, yeah. That's, that's what I, I, I like. I, I do like a lot of newer production, and um, I'm kind of, like, from that gap, like, in the middle a little okay. bit. Okay, okay, so, okay. Uh, I, I'm real in tune with like you know the pace of the music and stuff like that because what people don't know is like the whole wave like as far as like Lex Luger, Metro Boomin, you know uh, I always admired the way they approached the music, man. Like it was really innovative, man, and it was inspiring for real. Okay, and were there are there any names that like really stand out that that, that are missing? Like do you feel like damn they ain't even like you know what I mean they ain't have this person on there? Um, 
just any big oh, name. Man. Like I like I don't know. Like I would think Timberland would be like one of the best at one point in time, right? Or no? Is that maybe nineties? Yeah. Maybe late nineties? Yeah, know. yeah, yeah. No, nah, but see, you know, Timberland has had he's had an epic run, man. He's always been a part of our lives, man. Yeah. But I just think um that list sounds like. The list sounds like who was like kind of the most influential at the times. Ah, uh, okay. During okay. those times of the era, as you name in the producers, I can imagine the artists that were, you know, at the forefront. Like when you were saying like the Lex Lugas and like the Metro Boomers, I, I'm envisioning like Young Thug and, yeah, and Future. Yeah. And that's probably why, you know, they would get, you know, get the accolades for, you know, those years. Okay. But, um, you know, uh, we got so many great producers like Swiss Beats. You know, yeah, Swiss, you know, yeah, a, Swiss ain't, yeah, Swiss I'm, ain't. I'm an East Coast boy, and you know, yeah. We were just yeah, talking about that era, Swiss that that there. yeah, that Rough Riders like yeah. type of era that you know what I mean, yeah. And um, let me think, um, you know what I mean? It's 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 a ton of guys. I probably end up going along all day, but just off the top though, uh, you know, uh, damn, you know what I mean? Like at at that point in time, like Neo the Matrix. Okay. He had a heavy influence going on. Okay. Uh, A rap music. Yeah. You remember yeah. A rap music? Yeah. Heat makers. Um, yeah, man. Uh, wanna... Heat makers. Yeah. You dig me? Yeah. 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 You know what I mean, like, yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, 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 what's it called? Um, uh, Justice, Justice, was it Justice League or Justice? Justice League. Yeah, man. You know I mean? Um, yeah. So one thing though, I just just to wrap that up, whatever. I just feel like. You know what? In terms of patterns and common themes, I just feel like um, there really it feels like there really is like a producer monopoly. You know, what I'm saying like like be, just because um, and, and we always I think a lot of people complain about the music sounding the same was because it's like it seemed like all these artists just go to like three, four, five producers. You know what I'm saying? And to to get to like I guess if like I guess they attach to whoever is the hottest. You know what I'm saying? And then they they you know I mean. Yeah. And well, because like mustard was an honorable mention but, but, in one of them years, but like I'm surprised, like he's not a name that wasn't mm, on there too. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, and you can't forget mustard, man. DJ Mustard, man, when he came through, he came heavy. But I think what it is with people complaining about the music or what artists are delivering, we really change we changed the standard of what we accept. Okay. Like the era I come from, um, it wasn't the repetitive stuff. Okay. It wasn't like a big thing in the era I come from, you know, every line and every word was like different, you know, but now um, we we become accustomed and we accept, you know, the repetitive lyrics and hooks and things like that. And um, it's nothing wrong with it because I, I love the fact that, you know, we can express ourselves in whatever format we choose, but, you know, just on a wide platform, yeah. we learned to digest the repetitive lyrics, the, the repetitive hooks, just hearing the same line over and over again, you know, it's made it easier to, you know, party, recite, get down with. So, um, you know, it's really just based on, on, on what we enjoying in the clubs, in the streets, yeah. with each other. You know what I mean? We can't blame nobody but ourselves because we accepting it and we, we live it to it. We partying and driving down the street to that shit. So, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? it's, it's really on us for real, for real. But, um, as you see, you know, um, there is a, a slight emergence of, you know, more lyrical artists and things like that. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's always a constant balance, man. Yeah, it's a yeah. constant balance, for real, for real. But, um, yeah. you know, that's what it is. I attribute it to that. It's really the consumer, man. And facts. they ain't going to do nothing but give the people what they want, man. Facts, facts, facts. And they just, yeah, they just feeding the beast, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah.